Hey guys, welcome back to another video from Hoops Empire. In today's video, we're going to be discussing the emergence of Jalen Brown, examining just how much he has truly improved, detailing the work he's put in to go from a non-all-star to a possible all-star starter. Jalen Brown showed promise after his first two years in the NBA, being a solid piece on two Eastern Conference Finals teams in his first two years, amassing 35 playoff games in this time span, taking LeBron James to seven games with Tatum by his side. He has more playoff experience than many players have in their entire career. He had shown major statistical improvement from his rookie year and looked like a legit budding star. And then, year three came. Many people use a player's third year as a major development point. Sort of a make or break year. Get over the sophomore slump or don't. And sadly, Brown didn't. He had his worst career year to date, was down at almost every mark statistically, and was being looked at as a waste of a top three pick, and being dangled in numerous trade rumors. But the Celtics still had faith. They signed Jalen to a four-year, $115 million contract. They knew Brown was a great player, with great potential, and they weren't giving up on him just yet. However, fans were. There was mass outrage amongst the NBA community, Celtics fans in specific asking what Brown possibly could have done to deserve this kind of money. And personally, I hadn't given up on him, but I did question the move. It didn't seem right. It seemed like way too much money for a player averaging 13 points. But he could not have proved anyone wrong any better than he did, and exploded on the scene and posted career highs in every single statistical category, and was even getting all-star mention. Many players get complacent with the money, but Brown was not. He never is. He showed us that he has lots to improve, that he has the work ethic to improve on his weaknesses whenever they are present. Still, many thought last season was the best Brown was going to get, that he didn't have the potential to be better than that. But again, Jalen improved, this time even more drastically than the first. This season, Jalen is averaging over 27 points per game, 6.8 more than last year, 5 rebounds per game, and 4 assists per game, 2 more than last year, on 53% shooting from the field which is 5% better than last season, 44% from three, 6% improved from last season, and 76% from the line. All of these stats are by far career highs. His shooting splits are absolutely off the charts, finishing at a 74% rate, shooting 54% from mid-range, up 17% from last year on over three times the attempts per game, second to only Kevin Durant in that category and hitting threes at one of the highest clips in the entire NBA. And stats aren't the only places Jalen has improved in. He has improved his intangibles, his weaknesses, his ball handling has massively improved and is not just a majority catch and shoot player anymore. His assisted shot percentage has drastically decreased. He is not only finding his own shot, but his playmaking ability is better than ever, using gravity to free up shooters and consistently making the right play time after time. Another aspect of his game that has improved is his defense, specifically off-ball defense or team defense. Jalen has always been an exceptional on-ball defender, often taking the toughest matchup when Smart is off the floor. But his defensive IQ has always lacked. He gets lost in rotation and gets caught ball-watching consistently. I mean, hey, Jalen's lack of off-ball defense and IQ was the reason the Celtics didn't go up 3-0 on the Raptors last postseason. But he is actually picking up on rotations. He's becoming better in the passing lanes, better at reading offenses. He's being vocally active on that end, becoming a leader on both ends of the floor. Jalen has gone from an afterthought third to fourth option on Boston to a two-way superstar in the league. Possible all-star starter, and if he keeps this up, I don't see how he's left off an all-NBA team. He's even closing the gap on fellow teammate Jason Tatum, who many regard as a top 10 to 15 player in the league. Jalen isn't done yet. He's a player who's never complacent, always looking to improve. He will be one of the better players of his generation, already possibly the best player in his draft class and him and Tatum will be competing for championships for a long, long time. Thank you guys for watching the video. Let me know if there's any other areas of Brown's development you guys thought that I missed. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, turn on notifications. And I wanted to thank you guys as well for 500 subs. Uh, I never even thought I was gonna hit 100 subs, so 500 is pretty crazy, but let's get to 1,000. Have a good one.